We are learning new details about an Eastern Carolina Emergency Services paramedic who police say was shot while attending a call Sunday night. Earlier today, the Kinston Police Department arrested the suspect, Brennan Hill, who they say was shooting at a passing vehicle, which happened to also be in the same area where the paramedic was responding to a call unrelated to the shooting. Police say they believe the shooting was random and that the paramedic was, quote, shaken up by the entire situation, end quote. Today, Kinston's police chief and the Lenore County Emergency Services director both talked about the shooting during a press conference, and that's where we find Jalen Holloway today. And Jalen, what new information can you share with us today? Well, Dave, as you can see, I am currently standing outside of the Lenore County EMS headquarters, which is about a mile away from Jack Roundtree Apartments, which is where police say 23 year old Brennan Hill shot a Lenore County EMS female paramedic last night. Now, police believe that she was shot while trying to put a patient inside of the ambulance for what they say was a call unrelated to the shooting, which is why they believe that their crews were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Kinston Police Chief Keith Goyette says when they got to the scene on 705 Maryland Drive around 6 p.m. last night, officers found the female paramedic shot in the upper torso and arm area. After getting the paramedic help, Goyette says officers noticed a white vehicle had crashed into the park EMS vehicle. And he says after a few solid leads, Goyette says that they found some Someone in a gray sedan who had been shooting at the white vehicle as they passed each other on Maryland Drive, causing the white vehicle to ram into the EMS vehicle. Goyette says he also believes that's when the paramedic was hit in the crossfire, but says officers were quickly able to identify Hill as the suspected shooter. We quickly identified uh, the suspect uh, shooter that was in the passenger vehicle, uh, the gray sedan, and um, this morning we were able to obtain warrants on him and his uh, parents did bring him down to the station. After the shots were fired, Goyette says people in both cars drove away from the scene. However, he says the driver of the white car eventually came back. He says also they found two guns at the suspected address where Hill's gray sedan was after performing a proper search warrant as well as bringing in two people for questioning and they say they also found two additional guns inside of a separate vehicle at the home from them. I will have more coming up on this at six but for now in Kinston, Jalen Holloway, WITN News. All right, thanks Jalen. And Hill is in the Lenore County Jail under a secured bond but Goyette says more arrests will come as the investigation continues. And we are learning